All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm not here today. Um, so you are working on uh, activity guide lesson 11, which is, whoop, come on, come on. Let me get this out of the way here. Lesson 11, you have the design process exploring UI elements. So the first thing you're gonna do, obviously, is you're going to do your uh, warm up on your activity guide. Your activity guide is digital, as you can see here. Right, you're gonna do your warm up there, okay? You are working with your project partner on this. So as you get to this part, the UI elements, right? When you get to the UI elements, you're going to log into Canvas and go to lesson 11, exploring UI. It looks like this, okay? Now, let me get this doohickey out of the way. You can see up here that there are six different app examples, right? And you could play with all of them. In fact, I encourage you to because you'll get good ideas from all of them, right? But you need to do more than just play on each app. So for example, let's say I'm on app three. We had the birthday app there. Let's say I'm on app three. Um, it's a different type of birthday. You can see if I move my mouse around, right? I want you to pay attention to where it says ID. Look, it says month, ID is day, find out, right? It's got all sorts of little just doohickeys there. If I click on design, right? It still kind of has the same thing. If I click on data, it still has the same thing. Now, if I go to these things, I'm just, you can just kind of look it around and seeing what's going on with all these different things. If I go back to lesson one, right? Same thing. You can see it moving around, right? It goes to name input. You got an image up here. You got a label here, another label down dollar. That's probably like a button or something, right? all sorts of buttons that run. When you clicked run though and play with it, it disappears, you can't do it. So you can play with them, but you need to be in the non-played version to answer this. So what you're looking for here is trying to find those things that look, that say button or text input or label or drop down, right? And you're just gonna tell me in general what they would do, right? So if I'm over here and I see, oh yeah, that that's probably a button because I would click that. So let's see, do I click it? Oh yeah, it does change it, right? So that's probably a button right? And it's called ID dollar down there. So that's a button. And I might type here, um, allows user to click on something that creates an action. Then for my app, I might say, I'll use buttons to help with my navigation. Now you, you might have other ideas, but you get the idea. Right? And you're gonna complete this whole chart. You're gonna have to be looking for these things everywhere. They're sliders, there's images, they're check boxes, they're ready buttons. You wanna find them in these different apps here as you're running through and playing with it, okay? And you wanna fill out this whole column. When you get done with that table, you come down here to your discussion. All right, and it says, now that they've seen some, now that you've seen more examples of apps, discuss as a team any new ideas that you have for your app. This is the third time you've discussed your app. So you're building on these ideas. And then finally, you'll do the wrap up. What is one UI element you already know you will use in your app and describe how you plan to use it, okay? If you finish this activity early, you'll be working on digital applied, Google applied digital skills, hour of code or code HS. I'll see you guys on Tuesday.